Hi everyone, Dennis Burgess here again, Lando Realtor, and currently still a candidate for 2016 or a treasurer. Well, uh, as many of you know, a uh, good bit of you know, uh, this past Friday at 11.59.59, voting was over in our election. You know, see who's going to lead our Realtor Association for the coming year, 2016. Now comes the hard part, folks. We ain't going to know the results until this coming Friday. So, the next big event in the history of the world around here, other than, you know, people going about their daily lives and working, is our Affiliates uh, Expo coming up. Uh, this Friday, it's going to be from 1 to 5 at a um, local hotel here. And, um, you know, or excuse me, it's going to be... Hi everyone, Dennis Burgess here. Now, you may be thinking, what's this guy doing another video for? This campaign is over, right? I do remember him saying on Friday that voting was ending. You are correct. But, campaign's not over. We are not going to know the results of our election until this coming Friday evening. Uh, our affiliates, our Orlando Regional Realtor Association affiliates that we appreciate having, they are having an expo, and it's going to run from 1 to 6 p.m. at a hotel here. And I think it's going to be about 5.30 when they announce the results of our leadership election. Uh, that'll be uh, four people out of the 12 who ran will be... Uh, become director elects, so to speak. Um, either my good friend Lisa Ford or uh, former broker Dan Lopez will be the 2016, be elected the 2016 or a secretary. Either myself or my friend Lou Nimkoff will be the elected 2016 or a treasurer. <clears throat> I have one. Hi everyone, Dennis Burgess here again. You probably thought you'd heard the last of me. Election was over on Friday, or so you thought. Last vote was cast at 11.59, so you thought. Election's over. Maybe we'll hear from them again, maybe we won't. Well, here's the deal. Uh, voting ended, you know, stroke of midnight this past Friday evening, or Friday night, my birthday, hopefully, uh, voting in on my birthday resulted in a big old win for me. We'll see. But um, we're not going to know the results of our election until this coming Friday. Uh, our Orlando Regional Realtor Association affiliates are putting on an expo at a local hotel here. And it's going to run from 1 to 6 p.m. And I think it's going to be about 5.30 when they announce the results of our 2016 Aura leadership election. Now... We had 12 people running for four director positions. So four of those folks will become director elects. Uh, we had my, my good friend Lisa Ford running up against Dan Lopez. One of those two will be 2016 or a secretary. Myself, Dennis Burgess, or my friend Lou Nimkoff who has less hair than me. 
I think he's smaller than me. He's not as funny as me. Could be 2016 or a treasurer. Um, one of my friends, either Bruce Elliott or Reese Stewart, one of those two will become the 2016 or a president elect. And consequently, following that, they'll be the 2017 or a president. Well, so in, in cases like this, um, I wondered if I needed to make another video for when to make another video right now or, or wait. And I thought about it and I said, well, you know, this is the best time to make a video right now, quite frankly. Because if, if I wait until the results were out and I'd won, people could say, look at him. Of course he made a video. He's just bragging because he won, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and my God, I still will make one. If I win, I'll be making another one of these bad boys. I'll be making another video. You can count on that. Now, conversely, if I lose, by, you know, good Lord decides not to shine down upon me, and some strange twist of fate, I lose, which, yes, indeed, could happen, because Lou, my friend Lou, is formidable. Formidable. Um... You know, it'd be easy to say, well, he hasn't made a video in a couple of days. He's just pouting because he lost. Could happen. Maybe not. But right now, you make a video right now. Uh, the purpose of this video, to thank everyone. And I don't have a clue sitting here right now at this very minute. The votes have all been cast. They've been counted. Uh, the election committee uh, was at order today, and they've been tabulated, and somebody knows who won. Um, it's not me. So I'm going to be you know, eagerly anticipating this coming Friday, and hopefully I'll know uh, by the end that I won. But whether I won, whether I got stomped, whether I came close to winning, whatever, first of all, if I came close to winning and I didn't win, guess what? You got it. Y'all see me again next year doing these videos because I will be back. If I, if for some strange reason my friend Lou Nimkoff beat me out this time, guess what? Prepare next year I will be running again and I'll be humbly asking for you to support me again because I'm just like an ant. I, I don't give up. Go to the left, go to the right, go above, go below an obstacle. And, um, you know, I have a passion to serve our members, and nothing's going to keep me from it. So, hope it won't happen. Hope it'll be, uh, none, of that, none of that'll be necessary, though, because I win. I get announced the winner on Friday evening. It's game over. But, no matter what, I um, had a lot of great folks supporting me. Uh, in this election cycle, this election season, if you will. I'd like to thank, uh, first and foremost, um, my good friends, uh, which would be Lisa Ford, I think John Lazenby, Bruce Elliott, uh, Tansy Soderstrom, some other ones. And then more than I could ever um, mentioned in one video a lot of supporters you know who you are who supported me early on uh, some of you came along late in the campaign and supported me and i appreciate you all the same you know this is it was a tough call this time you know it's not like i was great and my friend lou, my friend lou was terrible dirtbag or something that wasn't the case and uh, I contend he'd say the same thing. Uh, I, I want to thank Lou as well. Um, again, Lou Nimkoff. I don't think I named him by name in any of my previous videos, but I'll name him now, Lou Nimkoff, because you can't go vote for him now. You know, can't go vote for him. But my friend Lou Nimkoff, um, he's an impressive candidate, was an impressive candidate, uh, would make a great treasurer 
if he so happens to, if it just so happens that he beats me. And I'll be very supportive of him. He's already got a number of things on his plate for next year. Uh, CCIM with commercial uh, side of the house. He's their national treasurer elect, I believe. And, and if I remember correctly, he's also president elect of the uh, Winter Park Chamber of Commerce. So he's got a lot of things going on. Uh, impressive resume, a very credentialed um, member, and you know he's he's definitely an asset to our association, our organization. So win, lose, or draw. Um, I hope to see Lou. I will see Lou if he happens to lose. Uh, he'll be back on our board of directors for next year, as will I. So again, I want to tell Lou, appreciate you, Lou. I told you this morning at our board of directors meeting that um, I appreciate the way you campaigned um, and everything. We kept things classy, no shenanigans between the two of us. Uh, I appreciate you running an honorable campaign. I trust you'll appreciate the same for me. So um, with that, yeah, we're waiting on Friday evening. So thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate you all. God bless you.